Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new game called Middle Earth Shadow of War. So this is a sequel to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, I've been at Gamescom the last week and I had the opportunity to sit down and actually record the game for a little bit. So this is uh, about 20 minutes of uh, my recording. I've got another session uh, that we could play after this. If you guys did like this video, so let me know down below. Also, I will be live streaming this game on my second channel when I do get full access to it. Uh, so this is not a sponsored video, but I did just have the opportunity to uh, get some footage of it. Um, and also, I'm playing on controller, so I wasn't quite used to the controls. Uh, usually, I play games on PC, so uh, playing with the controller was just a little bit different for me. And this was uh, almost mid-game. I believe they started me at level 40. Uh, so just uh, getting used to all the controls and the skills was a little bit wonky. Uh, so please give me the benefit of the doubt on that. Uh, anyway, we're going to start with dominating this guy here. And uh, if you guys don't know anything about the Shadow of War or Shadow of... Or Middle Earth Shadow of War, yeah, that's it. And Shadow of Mordor is that you can dominate guys and, like, the entire game has... Uh, like a main storyline, and then procedurally generated enemies that come against you. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Tyrant here and try to rescue some dragons. And if we can walk up, and we get to little quests by those little blue icons there. So Tyrant, we can go into this. In the Second Age, we honored Tyrant, the virtue of vigilance. We watched our enemies closely, only to be deceived by Sauron in the guise of a friend. And there we go. We get to ride the dragon around, or the drake around. And uh, he gets to blow fire. We have two different missions here to, to defeat the invaders uh, before time runs out and release the captured drakes. So they've captured the dragons, or the drakes, and our objective is to burn them up uh, so they can get out. Also, we can't let the bad guys get to the keep. So we'll just fly around on this guy and melt everyone. It was a lot of fun. Uh, controls were a little bit wonky to get used to on the controller, but overall it was pretty, pretty easy. And look at that. Blow them up. And they do get broken. If they get broken, then you can, uh, you can, what's the word? Uh, you can dominate them or get them on your team. We'll open up another one here. So that is my third rescue drake. We still have a couple more people to defeat. Let's see if we can find some more. So the, the dragons are flying around and they're helping out as well. And the little yellow icons are the guys that are alerted to us or we're alerted to them too. So we'll go down there. Come on, go around the corner. Yes, and down. So burn these dudes up. Uh, this mission was pretty quick, and after this one, ooh, we'll open another one up. Uh, after this mission, we'll go in and kind of some of the open world battle, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, the procedurally generated dudes are really, really crazy. Some of them are, can be very difficult too, especially if you aren't familiar uh, with the skills that you have. So we have to defeat Grog before it reaches the keep. Uh, Grog is like a giant troll guy. Um, it kind of—they can't use the the actual names uh, for. There, we get some little guys down there. Uh, we can't use the actual names for, like, a troll or a warg uh, because that's, like, licensed to Lord of the Rings or something, and this is uh, a video game, so it has to be slightly different. It also gives them the creative freedom to do, like, a, a fire-breathing grog or something. So uh, it's basically just a big troll. And over here, there he is. Oh, got to defeat the grog. There's the grog. See, he looks like the big cave trolls, doesn't he? Now he's broken. Uh, when they get broken, you can kind of dominate them and get them on your squad, too. Get over there. Yes, we defeated him. And that was a super easy peasy lemon squeezy mission. And we defeated him, and we got the captured drakes. So we get some. We get a, a gold trophy for that. And then we finish the mission and head back True to kind of the main area. Got a skill, alike, skill point gained. Especially in Mordor, ally can become enemy in a hot there you go. Ally can become enemy in a heartbeat. So everything we get, uh, we get these characters. We get the different character skills here. It's kind of a, just a overview of a tree. Um, so we didn't have. They didn't unlock. They unlocked all the base stuff for me, and then everything has like a secondary thing, as well. Secondary skills. So execution, active skills, and then there's the child trees that you can uh, look at those too. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through this and rejoin the army screen. If you guys do want to see the, the skill points, we'll do live streams of that uh, once we get the game. So the army screen is kind of cool. Uh, if you see the red over their head, it means they're an enemy, and the blue is a friendly. So you can get bodyguards, you can level up a guy and get bodyguards for them. They can become your same level. Uh, so this guy up here, the Harry, uh, we're going to actually go after him. He's going to be our target. We're going to mark him. There's other guys around, and uh, the bigger they are, ooh, look at that guy. 
That's Hoglick the Brewer. We can look at him, and he's got different things. Uh, he also has weaknesses. So this guy is flees in terror when swarmed by more guy flies. So you can have guys that flee in terror, and uh, there's all different like positives and negatives with it. it was really really cool. Uh, you have the positive traits and negatives, so things play together really 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 well. So we're gonna mark Iru Benny the Benu the Harry. Look at that guy! Isn't he fantastic looking? So he's actually got. Uh, he's heavily damaged by poison. He has a fear of burning and damaged by executions. Executions and explosions are like different, or executions are like a different skill that you can use to go against him. So we're going to do that. Uh, we did look at our, our character tree. I only put two points in before, uh, but I'll take some time to fill out the rest of them. Okay, so we're going to go go to the mission here now. And uh, you see there's a couple different things. These are just different missions we can use. Uh, the yellow one that we have selected there is where the guy is actually at. Uh, so I'm gonna, you can go into like a shadow mode, and you can see a, a reddish outline where people are. So again, fire an arrow way over there. Take that guy out. Also, you see in the bottom right corner, uh, there is a shadow strike and a shadow, um, like a, a kill. So you can you can teleport, or you can actually pull a guy to you. So we'll teleport over there. Kill him dead. And it gets a little bit graphic, as it is kind of Lord of the Rings, and you're killing big orcs. But I really like the, the shadow kill. You just strike in, smack him down with your hammer. And oh, he didn't he didn't quite die, but we will dominate him get your life onto our side We need a new guy in our army and He is now a friend. He's got a big shield. And I like him. I'll name him Steve Because that's a good name for him grab some arrows the arrows uh, That's how you collect arrows in the world and actually Steve's attacking other things now We got some other dudes that have come around and we'll hack and slash these guys too. Uh oh Can we can we hack and slash? Nope. We're just gonna are we gonna leave him? Nope. We're gonna attack him. Whoa! Nice. Uh, so everything else has, you'll see different uh, keystrokes up on it. It's so like a Y button will pop up. If you hit Y, you can do a dodge. And sometimes I miss that. Oh, he hit his buddy. Whoopsies. Oh, that was my, my buddy. So there's the Y button I missed. And there we go. And I'll try dominating. Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. We'll just smack him down, and I might take one of them. Ooh, I tripped him. Very good. There we go. We'll dominate him. No, we're not. Can't dominate when someone else is attacking. Take you out. I think I killed them both. I did. So let's go over to that mission now. Uh, the game also has kind of like an Assassin's Creed style climbing. Uh, so we're gonna run over here and just climb up the front gate of this. That's quite a fort. We'll take their fort and their take treasures. their fort and their treasures. That's what I like. I'm all about stealing treasure. Climbing up. Uh, climbing was really simple. You can jump super high too. Uh, so you see right on top there, there is the the yellow area, and I jumped way too far. So I have to climb back up. And we finally made it back to the top of the castle wall. And we're going to go into this massacre here. There it is. We have to draw him out by killing waves of enemies. And we get 11,000 XP if we can do that. All right. So let's let's start it out with a, a good old shadow strike down in there. Good. Chop his head off. Look, he's smiling. Isn't that cute? He's smiling. Uh, so I did unlock the um, arrow, the poison arrow. So we'll try to use against the big guy that comes around whenever I can do that. I did do another uh, shadow jump which I can chain together, chain different enemies together. And there we go, another arrow. Very good, see if we can hit people other than their shields. And jump out of the way because he's about to strike me. So there's a lot of guys here. It's pretty easy to get overwhelmed uh, with a number of enemies. And I always am missing the blocks, and the dodges like that. Uh, it's because I'm still a noob at the game and I played for literally 10, 10 minutes at this point. So uh, just forgive me for that. It is kind of cool. The combat's really neat. If I called in a bodyguard, you can see in the bottom there, if I hit left or right on the D-pad, uh, you can call in bodyguards. Also, that flame right over there, uh, that fireplace, we're going to strike that down, and it'll blow up, and everyone around will get caught on fire. So if you guys don't die by the fire, they might come back later in the game uh, as it is persistent and procedurally generated. They might come back later in the game as being fireproof or maybe have a fire weapon or fire armor. So you can kind of collect the different... Uh, weapons and armor pieces if somebody is uh, pretty nasty. You see me there with that uh, that poison, so everyone just got poison that was around and I totally missed with an arrow. And nice smash there. Critical hits so you can combo things and chain things together. Trying to avoid the big guys as they come out. You do not want to get struck down by the big guys. Oh, there the hairy man has arrived. There he is. Look at that guy. Level 33. And our enemy just chewed through them? That's just as well. You're all worthless. Isn't that awesome? He actually controls like the, the group here. We're chewing through the, the enemy defense, and the big guy comes in trying to, to mess me up. I'm going to do another arrow strike. 
Good work. Take him down. Chop his brains off. Uh, the only way that things can't be resurrected in the game is if you do chop off their head, uh, which is, I mean, it's a little bit gross, but uh, things do come back to life and uh, other, like, weird things. So we're going to dominate this guy and do a couple of chain them together. There we go. There we go. That's good stuff. Welcome to the family. There we go. And do I do I attack the guys? No, they're fine. They're going to turn on them. So we're going to go now over to the boss man. Uh, we'll stay away from them, maybe. Are we going to fight? Are we going to stay away? I don't remember. Oh, he's coming in now. He's coming in. The hairy man. I got this big old fire thing. Ooh. Oh, I missed. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, he's going to attack. He <laughs> would dodge out of the way. And try to, try to, yes, kick it. Kick it. And he has arrived. Oh, he's got he's got uh, backup too. He's got bodyguards. Get out of there! Get out of there! It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt super bad. It's gonna get out of there. Oh, he's got a a dog, and he's got like his friends, and he just attacked me, and now he's gonna mess my face up. Nope. Yes. Oh, a breath attack too. Oh, there's another guy that showed up with a big fire sword. Great. Now we're totally overwhelmed. This is not a good place for a noob to be put in. I'm gonna run away. Try to run. There we go. Things are exploding now. Try to hit that guy. Yes. Okay. Attack him. Attack him. That fire was a good, good thing. Oh, he's a possessive master. And you see, there's like another. There's things like hanging down from the ceiling too. So if we wanted to, we could, we could uh, hang things down, or we could shoot that like arrow. I uh, shoot an arrow at the package up there. I'm gonna try to get out of the way since there's so many people try to climb up. If we climb up, ooh, and dodge an arrow. Good. We're gonna climb up a little bit higher. I don't have any arrows, so we'll climb, we'll grab these off the wall. Get those. Now we have 13, so ooh, that's a good thing to explode if there's anyone by it. Is there anything else? We should shoot that dude. Shoot him dead, shoot him dead, shoot him dead. Oh, we're in the shadow strike in, yes! Oh boy, another guy? Is that a, is that another one? I don't remember this, so this is like the first time I've watched this over. I do remember that I got totally messed up by these guys. Oh, man, dodge all the way. Hey, oh yeah, there's two big dudes there. And they really do not like me. So you see all the little yellow and orange shields over them. Those are guys that are all against me. And he did knock me down. So you get a last chance struggle. And as that circle closes in, you hit Y button so you can dodge the, dodge the attack. There we go. And I dodged out of the way. Got back up, dodged out of the way. I have a skill that allows me to get up four times, but he's going to keep messing me up time after time. Oh, boy. Oh, and the, the crossbowman attacked me. So we blocked the arrow out of this guy. Let's see if I can get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Fireproof. Oh, wow. We have a guy who's fireproof. That's real nice. So we're going to run up to the top of the building, and we're going to try to, um, like... Pull a guy up to us, I think. Get some more arrows. Climb up. Good job. And we'll go up one more flight. Is that a flight? It's not really stairs, is it? We'll go up one more story. And there's a doggy. Hello, doggy. Nice of you to show up. We'll just possess you. Yar, a carador. Hi there. How did a guy climb up here? Is he a bad guy? Yeah, he's a bad guy. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked, bad guy. There, you're dead. You're done, though. So the Karagor can attack with you if you want him to. We'll get off, and now he's my friend. And he's going to bite that dude. There it is. Yeah, rip him apart. Good job, little feller. Ooh, and threw him off the edge. So we can use our bow, and we can pull guys to us, or we can shoot them, or we can just straight up miss all of the above. We can see the bad guys, so let's try to pull one of the bodyguards or something. And that guy just fell down. Where are they? Where are they going? Where are they going? Hey, where are you going? And I come around the side. We should uh, we should have hit that thing, the blue thing right up there. And that would have dropped right on top of them. We'll take a secondary guy up. There we go. Shoot that thing. And they'll attack that. Hey, okay. take you. There you go. Pull you up. There he is. And now that is like the bodyguard, dude. I should have the, the freezing and the frost stuff that did. And now he's going to run away. That's real nice of him. We'll go down and chase after him. Jump down. That dude is still a possessive master. Oh, wow, the big guy's here back. And he's arrow-proof. Great, I tried to hit him with the poison arrow, but he's arrow-proof. And that pretty much seals the deal now. Oh, hi there. Nice of you to show up. 
Oh, man. Uh-oh. I'm done, Zo. I'm done, now. Ah! Okay, I can dodge one more. I stabbed him right in the gut. That's pretty good. And we still have three of the, the champions here on. Vault Breaker. That's not good. That means he uh, throws me down if I try to vault over him. And that does it. I don't have the... I can't get back up. Oh, man. And smash down. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Watch out. Pulverizing the brain. Over and over. So this guy also has a very nice trait called uh, Sword Breaker. Yep, so uh, my sword is now gone because he takes my sword and he picks it up and he snaps it. So if you have a really good sword that you're attached to, this guy likes to break them. Thank you, the hairy man. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this video. If you did like it, so he levels up too. This is really cool. He levels up. Uh, the other guys down there, they survive and they also le level up. And there could be like during the turns, there can be different events that happen. So maybe one of your champions goes out and attacks things, and there's some other battle uh, battle reports. Yep. So they had two guys there that attacked each other, and uh, they killed each other. So those are enemies. We don't even know who he is yet. The unknown captain. I uh, killed the other guy up, and none of our other guys died. So, really interesting game. I'm really looking forward to streaming this on my second channel. If you want to watch it, go ahead and let me know. If you want to see the second half of that recording session that I had, please do let me know down below in the comments. We will uh, we'll get to that uh, pretty soon here. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know, and uh, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.